Two pints then, is it, love? Well, it would be, if I could afford it. Oh, pay him, will you? Any row, the length is lunch break, so I will have it all back by three o'clock. I take it you'll be knocking something off, for all the stress and inconvenience caused. No, I don't hold it against you. Give us scotch, please, love. Tell you what I'll do, love. You pay me cash, I'll knock the vat off for you. How's that? Oh, that's typical. It makes you think he's doing you a favour, but he's not. He's lying in his own pocket. Don't listen to him. Uh, if he hadn't listened to you and Harry, I'd have had this job done a lot quicker. OK, knock another 20 off and you're on. Ten. Done. Not sure who won that. Let's just call it a draw, eh? <laughs> right, so uh, two pints it is then. Oh, cheers, Jase. Got to keep my eye on this. Now I see that bookies has opened up over the way. You what? That bookies that were closed. I see it's opened up under new management. Nice and handy, that. So we sold it then. Must have. Two coffees, please, love. Yeah, OK, in a minute. Hey, I'll tell you what. You pay us what you owe me and I'll get these in, eh? Oh, well, actually, I can't. Not till the end of the week, any rod. Bit of a cash flow problem. What are you talking about? You got cash in your pocket. Oh, but I need that to buy materials for the town street job. When I get paid for that, I can pay you. Oh, I don't believe this. No wonder the last kid left you. Hey, I sacked him. Look, I'm not trying to diddle you. You'll get paid. Yeah, right. It looks like working for me, Dad, after all. Forget the coffee. G'day. Make that just the one coffee, please, love. Right. 